If you've paid attention to the media over the course of your lifetime, you'll probably be aware of the fact that we have a pretty big obsession with beautiful bodies and in particular having the perfect body and a lot of these obsessions have slowly turned into trends they've graced the covers of magazines in the form of your favorite celebrities and even social media sites like instagram in the form of normal everyday people so what do i mean by a body trend now i'm talking about the whole idea of a physical feature of a person for a period of time being labeled as the must-have thing or being labeled as something that is way more attractive than other physical features. So I'm sure you will remember the whole thigh gap craze that was going around for a while and how a lot of celebrities were wearing waist trainers so that they would cinch their waists in and get the hourglass shape. When I was in primary school I remember constantly being made fun of by a boy in my class. I won't name any names but he always used to take the mick out of me because of my lips and in particular because they were fuller and bigger than a lot of people in my class and I remember around that same time as well being made fun of again because of the fact that I had hips and a bum and a lot of girls in my class didn't have the same figure shape that I had. I was a bit more curvy and a lot of the other girls in my class were a bit more straight up and down and slim. And of course, off the back of being made fun of like that, I tried to hide a bit more, wear baggier clothes, or wear things that didn't accentuate the parts of my body that I didn't want people to pick up on. So if we fast forward to the future, say around 2014 or so, this is the time that Vogue declares that big bums are now in because of Kim Kardashian. And off the back of that, this is around the same time that Kylie Jenner begins to break the internet with her bigger lips and suddenly just like that a curvy figure and fuller lips are the new hottest thing. Now I must admit part of me felt relieved because I no longer felt like I had to be ashamed about the body I was born into because the people who once said that there was something wrong with it suddenly turned and realized that it was something to celebrate. But having said that these features that I've seen in myself my whole life are also ones I've seen in the women around me or in my family growing up as well and it just felt weird and strange having somebody a media outlet magazine or somebody tell me it's okay hun to look like this finally because this celebrity does and she does it really well and we love her so you're good but then also another part of me couldn't ignore the fact that these must have body trends were making other people around me who didn't necessarily have them feel way more insecure about their own unique bodies but i'm gonna pause here i feel like we should delve deeper into the whole idea of body trends so this part of the video is going to be my map by the one and only blue. Thank you so much, Joy. I'm Libby and I love talking. And that's Brogan. She loves drawing. Right, let's take a look at some of these beauty and body trends over the past century, shall we? First, we're going to take it back to the 1920s when it was all about the flapper girl physique. Corsets became a thing of the past, while short, petite, straight-up and down figures sported by the likes of silent film actress Colleen Moore were deemed more beautiful by society at the time. It was also common for ladies to tape down their chest so they appeared flatter. Then jumping to the 1950s, we have the era of the pinup girl. This was the decade where glamour, grace and curves were deemed more desirable. And Hollywood beauty Marilyn Monroe became the poster girl for femininity. Following that, the 1980s saw the year of the supermodel. We're talking super long legs and slim athletic bodies that would slip right onto the catwalk. During this time, strong and slim were in, and models like Naomi Campbell and Elle McPherson were coined as having the ideal body type for a woman. The obsession with being trim and tone meant the 80s were labelled the diet decade, as weight loss methods were at an all-time high. Now if we look at 2010 onwards, this is where the year of the booty and boobs took over. Nicki Minaj came onto the mainstream music scene and her steamy video for Anaconda broke a Vivo record for the most views in 24 hours in 2014. That was 19.4 million. Whilst Kim Kardashian's champagne glass cover for Paper Magazine officially broke the internet and waist trainers became the go-to fitness hack for celebs wanting a similar hourglass figure. Since then, so many unique body types have been taken by mainstream media and turned into trends. From the thigh gap and fuller lips to the bushy Cara Delvine brow, it's almost hard to keep up. So 
So as you can see, body ideals and trends have been around for absolutely ages, and they're often highlighted and spread through traditional media. But since social media sites like Instagram and Snapchat are now on the scene, and apps like Facetune exist, it's not only celebrities that are trying to keep up with these trends, but the everyday, average, normal human being too. And I think we've all in some way, shape or form fallen in and out of this trending body category. And I know for me, something that I personally know that I have to ask myself is, do I love and accept myself because I'm enough? Or do I love and accept myself because somebody has finally told me that it's okay, that it's cool, or that it's acceptable to look the way that I do? Because often, if we're honest with ourselves, those lines can easily be blurred. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and a massive thank you as well to the very talented Bloom for collaborating with me on it. They are so awesome. If you've not checked their channel out, definitely go and have a look. We actually filmed a video together for their channel as well, so go and check it out now it's up I'll leave links to that down below and just show them some love also we'd love to hear from you in the comments what do you think about body trends have you found yourself falling in and out of them falling for them or have you heard of any weird ones recently let us know and if you're not subscribed to my channel already hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video bye